Welcome, welcome. I am B from Thermi Tucker, and I hope you are going to learn a little something new about your Thermomix or potentially a Thermomix you're going to get on your bench in today's little lesson. So um, just a little heads up, um, I am going to be doing a video for today as part one and then a second portion. So the meal that I am making is shepherd's pie. So obviously I will show you this portion which is to prepare your potatoes and the hero of the day is the little peeler or the cover that goes on top of your blades. So if you haven't seen this before, it is a wonderful invention. It will peel your potatoes in four minutes. So I'm going to show you how simple and easy this part of the recipe is to make shepherd's pie. What I have done already is put in 600 grams worth of water. I have already also prepared the potatoes that I'm using and I will show you what I will be doing. A great little tip for you to know is that where your lid comes off or your measuring cup that is approximately what size you need to do your potatoes so all i've done i'll just show you is just pop out my uh, potatoes weigh them ahead of time that's 800 grams worth and all i do is just cut them in half and then the machine will do all the rest of the work so as I mentioned, I've put in the water already. Now, in order to put the peeler cover in, all you need to do is just find your little uh, top portion of your blades and then just place them straight over the top, the peeler on top of that. All right, and as I mentioned, I have gone ahead and measured 800 grams worth. The reason they call for this amount is so that there's enough surface area for your potatoes to come into contact with the peeler. So, 600 grams water, peeler goes in, potatoes go in, and then what you want to do is place your lid on and you need your measuring cup, all right? Then what you wanna do on from your driving screen, which I usually refer to those three uh, circles, I'm gonna flick on over into where your function screen is. And depending on if you haven't mixed your uh, icons around, it should be right at the bottom, your peeler function. You're gonna to touch that, and then there will come a description of exactly what I'm talking about now with the measurements and the weights, etc., etc. All right, so all I'm going to do then, the, the time is highlighted. Um, I'm just gonna, sorry, uh, I should have touched the peeler instead and just turn that and that will then do that for the potatoes. So it means you don't have to worry about peeling those potatoes. You can be preparing other ingredients, um, other, uh, dishes, cleaning up dishes, and doing something else in the kitchen. It is a bit loud, uh, but I'm just going to explain. I will show you the end product using the steamer basket that comes with your machine. I'm going to tip that out into my sink and rinse it and show you exactly what the potatoes look like. So, this is a really, really good thing for you to have up your sleeve. If you are not a fan of peeling potatoes the old-fashioned way, um, the other thing I do need to encourage you with is you can use this for other things like roasted potatoes, making potato salad. Also, this says 800 grams worth. So if you are going to be steaming it to make mashed potatoes, um, this would obviously, it should be able to fit in here, but if it doesn't, and you need a larger volume, what you can do is prepare your potatoes and then fill up your water and steam those potatoes so that you can use that from your Varoma. So you can extend that or uh, make much more than what the 800 grams is. I don't know about you, but in my family, potato is king. And I can never have enough potato uh, when it comes to dishes. So there will be times if the recipe calls for this amount.
amount and I will double it because of the fact that I know that my, my family absolutely love potato. Um, a really great resource to have. I am going to be experimenting in our new property growing potatoes. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. If you guys have any tips about growing potatoes, um, please let me know. I would love to uh, find out. I'm very curious. Um, I'm moving up to our property in a couple of weeks time. We're just packing up our home. Hence the reason why you can't see the uh, clock on the wall like you usually do. But um, please let me know if you have any hints and tips about growing these things because spuds are the best. Um, yeah, so let me know your hints and tips. Or perhaps if you have a favorite recipe to use your potatoes in, share that in the comment section below. I would love to know. Um, I'm just gonna check here one more minute um, and uh, just letting you know that if you would love a Thermomix to help you in your kitchen, please let me know, I'll be happy to help you. Or perhaps if you have a friend or family member who would love to get a little helper on the countertop and make life a little bit easier. I don't know about you, but I would prefer for the machine to do the peeling than get my hands dirty. <laughs> and I always say this, people know me when I say this, this is uh, an opportunity. Let the machine do the work for you so that your hands are freed up to do other things that are important to you. So preparing good quality food in your machine is a benefit and uh, you can be using your time wisely for other things as well. So this is now finished. Like I said, I'm going to strain that out. It will be off camera just to the side where my sink is and I'll show you exactly what this looks like. It smells good too, the potatoes. Now, don't waste that water. Whatever water is in there, you can pull that out and actually put that in your garden. Good, good uh, potato peelings um, and obviously your water as well. I'm just gonna show you the finished results. This looks so beautiful because obviously the potato skins were pink. Um, so it's very, very uh, frothy. Um, and I'll, I'll just show you this one. I will drain it for you so you can see what it looks like. So I will be back. All right. I'm just gonna get off the froth. Like I said, don't waste that potato water. You wanna be able to use that. Use those nutrients. And I will bring this across now. As soon as this is done. All right. I can see some of the little potato uh, peelings on the side. So I'll just show you what this looks like. So this is the inside of the bowl. You'll notice that there is the peelings in there and it has actually gone into the basket as well. At the bottom portion, you'll be able to see, I'm just a bit afraid I'm gonna put some water on there and it's all gone down. Okay, let me see if I can just show you the potato peelings, there we go. You can see it's at the bottom of there, but this is what your potatoes look like, absolutely gorgeous and this is really good for roasting as well um there we go they've rounded off how cute is that oops one for the floor <laughs> but do this please you will see it will save you a lot of time in your kitchen and obviously give you a wonderful little potato that is uh looks perfect for either going in roasting mashing or steamed as well so shout out if you have uh, any questions about this or if I can help you in any way with your Thermomix. Looking forward to seeing you again for part two of this recipe to make the chunky bolognese. Have a great day.